Okay, so starting here, we have uh, Google. I'm going to type in GitHub Bitcoin. So we're going to the GitHub website to get the source code for Bitcoin. Bitcoin slash Bitcoin is the name of the repository. And here we go. Check out the green thing. Make sure that the uh, certificate is correct. So here it has the, the readme, it has all the source code, and you can expand it. This is the URL to, I'm going to copy it. This is the URL how we're going to grab all the source code and put it on our own computer. So here we are in a terminal. We're here in a terminal, and we're going to git clone that URL. And so that's just going to grab all the Bitcoin source code and put it onto my computer. Okay, now we're here. That maybe took about five minutes, and we're going to continue. So now we have a Bitcoin directory. We're going to change directory into that. Now if we look, there's a SRC or source directory that has all the C++ code. So the .h's are header files, .cpp is uh, C++ files. And this is all the code that makes up Bitcoin. Um, if you want to look at one of them, you can see, let's do cat and see that's, that's a, that's what the code looks like. If you want to read it and understand it, you're welcome to spend as much time wandering around in here as you want. Okay, so now let's let's go back into that home directory, Bitcoin, and let's look at what, what let's look at the README and see what the next instructions are. So the README is actually in doc, in the doc folder. So I'm going to click on that. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to click on Build OS X. But if you're using something else, then you should uh, click on the appropriate one. Like there's Build Unix is there too. Okay, so I have Homebrew, uh, so I'll be using these instructions. There's different instructions for uh, different package managers that you might have. So I'm just going to copy this code, uh, this command, and insert it into my command line. And I've actually done this before, so it's going to come back and say that I've already installed all these things. But if you haven't installed some of these things, then uh, it will take a bit of time. See all those warnings and errors? That's just they're already installed. OK, let's take a look at what the next thing to do is. I'm going to skip down past the Berkeley stuff. I'm going to build Bitcoin D. So let's do autogen.sh. This is going to create uh, uh, a lot of configuration files and that will be specific to my system. So this, this is a sort of pre-configuration setup. That took a couple of minutes. And now let's see what the next step is. OK, dot slash configure. So we have now have a dot slash configure file after doing autogen. .sh, and it's going through checking whether we have everything we need for uh, the Bitcoin software to run. And this is quite a, quite a few things that it needs to check for. OK, and that only took a couple minutes. Now the last step to build it is make. So we're going to just type make into the command line. And this is going to take a few minutes. These CXX is uh, uh, just a way of writing C++. It's like the, the plus signs got turned on their side to make Xs. Uh, it's going through all the .cpp files and turning them into .o files. Those are object files. Uh, it's a little bit closer to machine code. OK, what basically just happened was it took all the .cpp files, those are C++ source code files, uh, which are written in human-readable computer programming languages, and turned them into machine-readable .o files. Those are .object files. So that took the, the bulk of the time there. All right, let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to do make check. This isn't absolutely required, but this is a good way to make sure that, uh, help ensure that you uh, have a working version of Bitcoin now. It's going to run some tests, uh, some sort of fail-safe mini programs inside of Bitcoin.
Okay, the green indicates that we passed the test. That's good news. And now let's look at the step make install. So this is going to uh, install it into our operating system to make it easier to access from the command line. And that didn't take too long. Okay, let's take a look now, see what is, has been made in our source file. So there's a lot more files here than there were before, a lot of .o files. Okay, now we want to run Bitcoin D, that's our server. So do dot slash Bitcoin D dash daemon. Daemon is just a process that runs in the background. Okay, it told us something here. What does it say? It is recommended to use the following rent. Okay, we have to put some information in a configuration file. So it tells us where the configuration file should be and what needs to be there. So let's go ahead and put that in there. We're going to grab the things that are supposed to be in our configuration file. And let's do echo and put it in quotes and copy our configuration material. Close the quotes, put up greater than symbol. This is going to put it into a file. Let's put it into the file that they asked us to put it into. Grab that Bitcoin comp file. Of course, yours will be different if you're running anything that's not uh, Mac. And there's a space there in between application and support, so we need to put a backslash because the terminal doesn't recognize it otherwise. It treats it as a delimiter. So let's put, let's uh, concatenate that file to make sure it looks like what we want it to. Of course, don't use this RPC password for yourself. This is going to be, um, yours is going to be different. Uh, we're going to do change mod. We're going to change the permissions on the file so it's owner readable only. And that's uh, uh, just a security measure to make it so that other random processes on your computer can't uh, read your Bitcoin password and do things you don't want them to. So now it's owner readable only. And now if we start that Bitcoin daemon again, okay, it doesn't complain that time. That's good. Now, if it should be running in the background, if we do dash slash Bitcoin dash CLI, that's command line interpreter or interface, uh, and I do CLI help, this is all the commands you can ask Bitcoin about or send to Bitcoin. So you can look at sign message, you can ask it to sign an arbitrary message with any Bitcoin address, you can uh, set your transaction fee, uh, there's a whole lot of commands here. and. Um, so, for instance, we can do, uh, let's look at right here. Yeah, they're organized into different, different sections. Mining, network, control, uh, blockchain. Let's do get block count. Yeah, let's do that one. So let's do bitcoin-cli space get block count. Then I'll hit enter. Okay, that's that's the number of blocks that it's downloaded so far. So it's trying to download the entire history. Oh look, there's there's more blocks that it downloaded in that short time span. It's trying to download the entire history of the Bitcoin economy. That's what the blockchain is. Alright, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to make a Bitcoin node.